the idea of agrivoltaics didn't really, it didn't exist. It was, uh, could this work? People are like, agri what, huh? You know, it's just agriculture with photovoltaics, agrivoltaics, someone came up with that word. This is just growing crops underneath solar panels. That's all it is. So we worked with the state and American Farmland Trust. We worked with the University of Massachusetts. Blue Wave at the time was a solar developer that said, well, we maybe could run with this. We said, well, let's put together a legitimate agricultural plan, which we did with the landowner, Paul Knowlton. <laughs> New England was primarily a farming area not that long ago. And a lot of it's been lost. You know, no one wants to see farmland go away, but yet we need the clean energy. And uh, this is a way that you can do it both. Because I, I truly believe in my heart and what I'm doing. And the family has been backing me the whole way through. And they, they find it is, it's a great idea. And a lot of this is to prove that we could take it out to different parts of the country and to do it in a very large scale. I really like thinking like, okay, if that's where, if we need to be somewhere better than here, what are we gonna do next? So we're looking at these systems and asking, is this a good place to actually grow these crops? Can you have a productive pasture that's partly shaded? So we have sensors out there that are measuring soil temperature, soil moisture, the precipitation and air temperature. All of these things affect how plants grow and how soil breathes. Science in its own way is, is exploratory, so it's a way of exploration without you know, going to Antarctica or going to space. And it's so important that we do good science and make good decisions because the, the implications that come from those decisions are, are big and they're broad, and so we have to get it right. This whole project came to pass because of an idea. It only works with teamwork. So AES took this project on with faith that it would work, but there's a risk to faith. AES was willing to take that on, one of the first in the nation to do so. AES has allowed us to have this bandwidth here, to learn as we go, and that's the grassroots aspect of this. AES is one of the leading clean energy developers in the U.S. We are growing very, very quickly, and we're trying to push the whole industry forward. 15 to 20 years, what would keep us from doing this? I can't think of anything. Just do it, <laughs> just make it happen, yeah. What this little project is doing is showing the nation what could happen when you think outside the box, you raise panels up, you spread them out a little bit. So our goal is to use this as a template to say to the USDA, and Department of Energy, we can do it differently and create the environment that you can still work the land and have the land work for you.